Hello everybody and welcome to episode number 6 of my Slayer Only Iron Man series. Uh, so last episode I asked you guys what you thought about doing quests on the account. Now most people thought that it should be allowed as it doesn't really directly contradict my original rules and it will unlock a lot more content later on. So I'm going to go through with that and complete quests. So quests are not limited in any way. I can complete any quest as long as I don't uh, break any of the original rules. So still no gathering skills. However, I can still get experience in those skills via quest and diary rewards. So one thing we learned in the last episode is that you cannot actually get any dragon tasks without uh, starting Dragon Slayer. I actually found a blog from when the update came into effect and it does seem to be the case. So what we're going to do this episode is work on at least starting Dragon Slayer. Now we have one problem is that to complete Dragon Slayer we will need an unfired pot and the only way to get that is with uh, a clay. So getting a clay for the account is a little tricky since no gathering skills means no mining and clay and I for a while I didn't think I was going to be able to complete this quest. It wouldn't have been a big deal. However, uh, it turns out there's actually a clay drop on a slayer monster and that is the mutated Zygomite and it's only a level 57 slayer monster. However, the only master that assigns it is uh, Childer and to unlock her uh, I need to actually get level 70 combat. So that's something I'm going to be working towards this episode. So we're going to be taking a few more Vanica tasks this time because uh, Wilderness Slayer is kind of bad experience for the most part, uh, well, at least at, at this stage of my account. Once I get later on it will be better. However, I'm only like base 40 melee stats, so I will need to get stronger. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the series. Let's get started. So I'm not sure why I had it in my head last episode that to complete Dragon Slayer you need to complete all of the free-to-play quests. That is just not the case. I'm totally wrong. A few people pointed that out uh, last time. So we only need 32 quest points to start Dragon Slayer, which is totally doable. There's a ton of quests out there that give a lot of experience. So I think we're going to start with uh, some free-to-play quests like Romeo and Juliet, and then we might do a few like Ernest the Chicken or Sheep Herder. Oh, I really hope we don't have to do that one. That one's so annoying and we don't have stamina potions, but okay, there we go. We completed Romeo and Juliet. That's an easy five quest points. We want to do Goblin Diplomacy. However, I think the only way that we can get the quest completed is by getting a Goblin task, um, which I Ideally, we don't want to be doing that, but anyway, uh, maybe we'll do that in the future. There we go, we're just finishing up Ernest the Chicken, which I think gives five quest points as well, or maybe it's only four. Okay, four quest points from Ernest the Chicken, bringing us up to 18 quest points, and I think next up we're going to do Vampire Slayer. I think we're a little overleveled for this vampire, but there we go, use the stake on him, and that should be it. Three quest points for Vampire Slayer, as well as uh, 4k attack experience, which is always nice. Now we're at uh, 21 quest points. Okay, so this uh, little kid lost his ball, so we just kind of hopped over the fence and got it back for him. We're just completing the Witch's House here. There's another 4 quest points and 6k hit points experience. No levels, but there we go. That's already 25 quest points, so we only need uh, 7 more. I hate Sheep Herder so badly. You literally have to run around fucking cattle prodding the sheep for 40 minutes, and it shouldn't take that long, but I don't have any run energy, so it took forever. But there we go, we finished. That stupid quest, and uh, that brought us up to 29 quest points. Next up, we're doing a murder mystery, I believe. That's going to give us our first bit of experience in a non-combat skill. So we're going to get about 1k crafting experience, which conveniently enough will be perfect for a Dragon Slayer, because we will actually need a bit of crafting levels to make the unfired pot. But first, we do have to get the clay from the mutated Zygomites. We probably won't get that this episode because we still need to get quite a few more combat levels. But there we go, there is uh, 32 quest points, perfect, and 11 crafting. That is all the requirements for Dragon Slayer. So we can go ahead and start it, get our anti-fire shield, and then we can get dragons finally assigned as a Slayer task. All right, so we're just gonna talk to the Duke to get our first anti-dragon fire shield. And I believe at this point now, dragon tasks are unlocked. Uh, we will not probably know for a little while until we actually get one as a task. We can still get green dragons, lava dragons we're hoping to get. Okay, so we actually just hit 70 magic. Uh, that came out of nowhere, to be honest. Uh, 70 magic is pretty high for this account already. We're just finishing up a task of bandits. Uh, well, magic has been our staple uh, attacking style because doing all these wilderness tasks are not really possible with melee at my current stage. So yeah, 70 magic, that's pretty good. We'll have to switch over and start training uh, my melees pretty soon. Okay, so we just finished up a few wilderness tasks. We're going to go grab another one from Crystalia. Um, spiders, yeah, we'll go do that, I suppose. So we just missed the level up message there, but we just hit 50 strength. So a nice milestone there. I believe uh, the quickest and easiest way for me to get 70 combat is about 57 strength. 
around uh, 52 attack and defense. And if I get some prayer levels in there as well, that should be about 70 uh, combat, which would be nice. If we get a green dragon task, we'll be able to get some good prayer experience at the Wilderness uh, Chaos Altar. Okay, so we just finished a few uh, Wilderness tasks. Uh, next up, Black Demons. There's no fucking way I'm doing this, especially since we need uh, melee combat experience. Okay, so we just picked up some bones from the last task uh, because we actually need it for a quest. Um, next up, Revenants. Always going to do Revenants, but not the greatest experience, unfortunately. Okay, there's actually some mahogany planks. Those could come in handy at some point. I mean, if we need to get a train construction, I guess that'll be useful, but probably not for a while. Okay, so we just finished up the task of Revenants. Nothing too interesting. Ice Warriors, I might be able to melee, but I guess I'm going to skip them for now. I, I think they're doable, but they're really far away to get to uh, skeletons as easy points. Next up is going to be Revenants once again. 97 of them. We'll go do that pretty quickly. But first up here, I actually want to try to kill the Moss Giant boss. So I've been holding on to these keys for quite a while, and I wanted to make sure that I would be able to kill it before I try again. And I hit 70 magic, so I'm like, well, I should be able to do this now. Uh, instead of using Fire Strike, we're actually using Fire Blast. Um, so that definitely made a huge difference. Being able to hit up to like 15 made this boss quite easy to be honest. Being able to one shot these stupid minions for one is extremely useful and just damaging the boss quite a bit more because it does some of these sapling things pretty frequently. So let's see what we get as a drop from the Moss Giant boss and it is actually two rune swords which is probably the best drop we could have got beyond the essence. Uh, the rune sword I think is an upgrade in DPS over the rune battle axe. I looked it up and it seems like it does have better DPS. We're going to keep the battle axe, but the rune swords are going to be extremely useful. So we had a second uh, key in the bank, so we're just killing it one more time. No problem at all here. Okay, that should be the last hit. I don't really know what I'm hoping for here, and maybe the essence would be nice. 100 law runes, that's actually pretty useful for me. That's pretty much 20k right in the bank, because I use law runes a lot. Okay, so uh, we finished up our task of revenants. We got actually a mysterious emblem, 11 onyx bolt tips and three battle staffs, so actually quite a good task, as well as the uh, bracelet of Ethereum. We're just going to alk that quickly now. An easy bit of money there. So let's go grab another task, and we got Greater Demons. I may actually do that because you can AFK them somewhat because your prayer regenerates at the Anacarl teleport location. Why do people like PK in here so badly? I don't understand. So when you're at Anacarl, your prayer will restore quick enough to just run Protect from Melee. If you have any of the other combat boosting prayers on, it drains it too quickly. But 52 strength, 45 attack, and 43 defense. So these aren't the greatest experience per hour, but it's really AFK and completely free because we don't need food at all, and there's no risk. Okay, we actually got a hard clue scroll. That's actually pretty exciting. We'll have to go give that one a try. I don't know how likely it is that I'll be able to complete a hard clue scroll, but there's always a chance. And um, I really need to get an amulet of glory from a clue scroll. Uh, that would be ideal. I think I can actually do that. Okay, so we just uh, finished up the other step of the clue in the Fisherman Kingdom place. I think I can do that one as well, actually. That's pretty exciting. Let's hop over there. Okay, so we're just going to dig our spade here. There is another step of the clue. So these only have six possible steps. I will have to check on that one. No, fuck, it's Lydia. Damn it. Okay, oh well. We're going to drop it and just continue doing our clues. Hopefully we can get a completable one. Okay, doing this task took a long time. Uh, we got all the way to 56 strength, 60 HP, and we're still at the same attack and defense level. There we go. There is also 30 wilderness tasks completed in a row, giving us 125 uh, slayer points and 366 in total. Okay, so we actually got a bonkers amount of mysterious emblems from that task. We didn't get all of these, but I think we got six, which is still extremely high. And we also got five rune full helms which are going to alk for like probably close to 100k. So that was a very good task for money. That being said, I might not do it again. Um, skeletons, we'll do that quickly. Why not? Okay, so we've been grabbing a few tasks from Vanica. The XP per hour is just so much better, but the amount of points you get is very low. Um, one good thing here is actually the Hobgoblins drop Goblin Mail, so we actually managed to get three of them. So now we can go do the Goblin Diplomacy quest whenever we get a chance. Okay, next up we're actually doing an Ice Warriors task. This one is a pain in the ass because the Ice Warriors actually do a bit of damage and they are very far away and we're using Wines. And uh, Wines actually reduce your attack by two levels each time you use them. Okay, so we actually got a, enough for a Crystal Key. So that's kind of exciting. We'll use this on the Crystal Chest and we're guaranteed a Dragonstone and another item. Another Tooth Half, because that's not ideal, but still the Dragonstone. 
Okay, we caught 61 green dragons. That is exciting. That is our first dragon task. So it does seem like starting Dragon Slayer has unlocked dragons for us. So this is going to be a pain to do since all we have is a rune sword. But we're going to go do it and get 61 dragon bones because that's a good prayer experience. So we managed to complete this task mainly via prayer flicking. I'm out of prayer now, but this took probably like four hours to complete. A very lengthy process and I may not do this until I have range really unlocked. But still, it was fun and getting these dragon bones will get us probably, I don't know, a couple prayer levels easily if we go bear them at the Wilderness Chaos Altar. And I actually got decent experience, about 15k an hour when I was here training. That sounds like shit and it kind of is, but for me it's not so bad. And there we go, that is our last dragon kill. That is 14 tasks done in a row and about 60 dragon bones and the 60 dragon hides will eventually come in handy once we get to like level 60 crafting or something like that. Okay, so we're running out here to the Chaos Altar. Uh, we're not really sure how many bones to bring. We're going to do it in two inventories. That way we're not risking a whole lot. We're running out here in a free-to-play world because it seems a little safer. And we have to run all the way up here to like level 35 wilderness. So we're currently at level 44 prayer. So let's see how many, uh, so let's see how much experience we get. So we're using the double dot render self to uh, get rid of us because it's pretty important here because PK is like to log in right underneath you. Uh, there we go. There's level 48 prayer. Pretty nice. As well as making sure you use the bones in between the automatic bury because you will bury the bones twice as quick and you can get your ass out of there quicker than just waiting for the automatic bones to bury. And that is our last dragon bone. All in all, we got 30,000 prayer experience, so pretty good, and all the way till level 48 prayer. Okay, next up is actually Chaos Druids, and I'm very excited to do that because we can actually try to kill Elder Chaos Druids, which have a chance of dropping the Chaos Robes. So if this doesn't work too well, I'll just go kill regular Chaos Druids. Um, so all I literally have is a Rune Sword. What you can do, since there is a temple in the middle here that will restore your prayer, um, you can just leave on Protect for Magic so it nullifies all their damage and just melee them. Now the only drawback is they occasionally will teleport you around, uh, but not so bad. So we're going to go here and probably try to finish all 67 Elder Chaos Druids, but I think that's where we're going to end up for today, guys. So uh, we made it all the way to 50 attack. 56 strength and 48 defense we're at almost 68 combat so we're getting pretty close to 70 once we finish this task we'll probably be very close we're also at level 57 slayer so uh, we actually do have the slayer level to kill the mutated zygomite in the next episode we should be able to complete dragon slayer anyway guys i hope you enjoyed the episode if you did don't forget to leave it a like i always appreciate it and i'll see you next time